Hey, what's up Toronto? It's Mercedes. The Art of Barbecue is bringing Southern comfort to Toronto. From short ribs to 20 hour smoked brisket, the smell of cooked meat reaches halfway down the street. So let's go inside. I'm the owner of Art and Barbecue Smokehouse. I like to believe uh, Scarborough's first authentic smokehouse barbecue slash soul food joint. My uncle was dying, sadly, uh, dying of uh, cancer about 10, 12 years ago uh, in North Carolina, and I visited him. And at that time, um, my intention was to spend a week or two with him, you know, because he had a few months to live. And um, I, I went there, and, and he basically told me his life story. He said he spent his whole life basically feeding people, you know. So I said, what do you mean by that? He goes, well, I was, you know, as a pit master in some of the smokehouses of North Carolina and so forth. And he started uh, showing me some of the things and the tricks of the trade and stuff like that, just hanging around, just passing on knowledge to me. Before I left, he gave me a design for a, a smoker. I came back to Toronto. I um, didn't know where to get a smoker made, custom made smoker. So anyways, I found some green guys. They made it for me. I started messing around with it around the house, you know, trying and perfect the art. You know, over the years, people started saying, hey, you know, you make a wicked smokehouse. So I started doing some small corporate events and one thing led to another. You know, here I am, basically, you know? I, I smoke my brisket for 20, 25 hours. I mean, I slow smoke it. I, I try to bring it to a point where, it's, you know, it's, it's soft as butter, you know? And, uh, and I use it, all these different spices there. Again, spices that, that the people down south would never use, you know? I use like oyster sauce, right? You know, there again, who uses oyster sauce in, in brisket? But there again, experimenting, right? There's a North Carolina influence, but at the same time, I've made it my own, you know? And I think that at the end of the day in life, you know, you can adopt, you can incorporate, but you have to make it your own you got to be unique you got to put your own stamp on it i like to say i put a, the northern touch you know i'm from canada right i'm proudly canadian so anything i do i think i bring a canadian perspective to it and and, and which is a multicultural perspective in many ways aside from the standard dishes like brisket and back ribs he also serves up unique dishes like smoked lamb served alongside southern favorites like collard greens and cornbread I was an advertising executive, I've been a social entrepreneur, promoting economic empowerment in, in, in the black community and so forth, and also doing some real estate development in the Caribbean for years. This part of my life, this stage of my life, feeding people, doing something that I'm passionate about, uh, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't put a price on it.